Hey YouTube, this is Fence Kid coming at you. What you're looking at is a 10 pound slab of raw bacon. It's basically the belly of the pig. There's a look you might recognize, right? There's that bacon slice. So it's basically just raw bacon, the underside of a pig. I'm gonna take this chunk right here. This has had the skin removed already, so we're loving that. We're going to take this and turn this into some burnt ends. Some yummy, sticky, sweet pieces of pork jello. <laughs> okay, so all we did was we took that pork belly and you want to cut it up into cubes. Right? You can see, oh, I don't know, one inch by one inch cubes will work. You don't have to be too specific. Just try to keep them all consistent. Throw a little barbecue rub on them. Try to get all sides if you can. And then we're going to throw these out on our smoker at about 275 for, say, three hours. All right, you want to set your pit up for about 275, 300, 250 will work if you have to. Try and keep it around 275. We've got a rolling. We've got some charcoal in there. We've got some cherry wood in there. We're producing that sweet smoke. We've got our nugs out here ready to rock and roll. Look at those things, dude. I can almost eat them right now. They're looking so prime. This rack, you don't have to do that. This is just going to help me get them in and out of my pit a little bit easier. You can see how I spaced them out. I want to let that smoke get around each nugget. So let's pop them in and see how we do. Oh. All right, hang on. Mm-hmm. Just like that. And I'm going to move these little ones off these hot spots here. You can put these right on the grill. You don't have to use a rack. You'll be all right. You just want these set up so each nugget can get surrounded by smoke. Yeah, that's looking good, buddy, buddy. Buddy! This here's going to make some of that good pork candy. It's going to melt in your mouth. Kind of like a burnt brisket or a burnt end on a brisket. This is the pork belly version. All right. So that's ready to rock. We're just going to seal it up, keep it at 275. We'll come back to this in about, oh, three hours. I'll be back in a second. Oh, yeah, buddy. Okay, guys, it's been about two hours into this sow candy, and I want to come out and check on it, make sure we're doing all right. Let's have a look at how she's going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's doing quite nice. In fact, I might need to roll a little bit longer than I thought. Those are pretty big chunks. But you just want to check on two hours, make sure everything's looking even, nothing's burning, nothing's, you know, everything looks good. Let's close it back up. Okay, guys, we are three hours into this smoke. We've been holding steady at 275. Let's have a look at us. Three hours in. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Those are looking prime. I'd call those prime for sure. But we're not even close, dude. This is just phase one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop them out of this into this pan here. Check it out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a cube of butter. And just dance that butter all over the place. This is going to make them real sticky. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to take a bunch of brown sugar, however much, we're just going to coat it. It's hard to miss this. I don't think you're going to get someone complaining these are too sweet. So just pile it in. Alright. Now we're going to wrap these up in foil. Get them back on the pit. Oh, dude, not quite. I almost forgot. Pop these back open before we get rolling here. I almost forgot the, the honey. Uh-huh. Okay, guys, here we are an hour and a half later. Oh, it's sizzling up a storm. Let's see how she's looking. Oh, yeah.
Now these are going to be just as soft as butter. Oh yeah. Those are just like jello. Even softer than jello. Look at that. All right. Sweet. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to dense these out. Bam. Into one more pan. Now we're going to take some of this glaze here. Simple. And just coat all of them. Looking good. Looking good. All right, now let's throw them back in the pit for, say, 10, 15 minutes. Caramelize that glaze up, and we'll call it good. 15 minutes later. Oh, yeah. How's that looking? Is that looking like something you want to put in your mouth? Oh, yeah, let's get them inside. Let them cool down and check them out. Well, all right, so there you have it, guys. Pork belly burnt ends fresh out of the pit. Wow, what a sight. If that's not about the best looking thing you ever saw come out of a hog. Anyway, that's burnt ends. Go ahead and mac on that for a while and uh, you're going to be loving it. This is Finn's Kid coming at you. Have a good one, guys. Later.